Hello and welcome to the Dead Air Dudes. I'm Izzy. I'm Raka. Hello, Dead Air Dudes Nation. On the heels of the Oscars, whatever trash fest uh, uh, group, you know what that is. But we're here to first start off things. And we're back. So, yes, you, season four. Let's part get into two. the show concluded already. Yes, okay. As we all know from part one of season four, Joe and his merry band, merry band of uh, sociopaths and uh, of the, of the I, I don't know, the popular sect, the, the wealthy and the rich and famous, all right? And it kind of, uh, if you guys don't know, the spoiler is going to be abound in this episode. Uh, someone was killing them. The eat the rich killer, eat the rich killer, I believe, was killing them all one by one. And Joe was trying to save, and they come to find out that it was Reese who was dispatching these guys one by one, and has had a something on Joe. And yeah, so here we go to part two. And we share different differencing opinions here on whether or not we liked it and what we saw. So I'll let Raka go first. Take well, first it. of all, I was unaware that there was season five. I thought this was the. Is there a season five? Because it well, really. No. OK, now. When Pim Badgley, he signed up to do you, he signed a six year contract. OK. Therefore, theoretically, it can go up to six seasons. Now, they did not mention it was before season four came out. It was mentioned that uh, this might be or probably was the last season. Now, obviously, since it's a it's a ravenous and a raging success that it, it actually beat out The Last of Us. So. I think one point seven or one one point seven to one point one in the really mighty Nielsen ratings. Really know. shocked. Well, then again, I mean, you know. No, I mean, okay, this is an established show. Last of Us really speaks to a lot of gamers and no, horror. Yeah. I mean, hey, I already re- know a lot of people have spoken to me that mentioned that the Last of Us is boring. Wow. No. And I'm like, really? Are you guys out of your mind? Wow. So you got to get some people with some taste. Over I already, there. already, already three people and they mentioned on how, on how slow it was and they weren't, didn't, you know, I'm like, okay. That the dislike, and I quote, how the episodes are about, there was a whole episode on one character and yet the kid, then they kill him up at the end. I mean, yeah. I, I, I understand the two major episodes, three and the and the second to last one, where it was basically a flashback episode. I understand how I I agree only on those episodes that a full episode donated to that was not favorable. It it could have been less, and so I'm yeah, saying you had to show when when she got bit. That you was, had to, but you didn't need the whole episode. It was a it was a full DLC. It was a complete game. You know that, right? Yes. I mean, it it, it was a full what? I guess a two hour game. I'm, I'm assuming. I mean, I don't remember. I mean, it was it, it wasn't that different, but it was a complete DLC which you had to pay for. But then if you got the remastered version, game of the year, it came included. Now that's a whole separate game that you played okay. through to do to do that. But that's- right, we'll get we'll get to Last of Us. Okay, now with what you just said, there is a season five, possibly season six. That's what he signed on for. It's that's what race- he signed on for. But when they spoke to Penn Badger himself and in various interviews, especially on the podcast that he runs and another podcast, he said that. And here's where the spoilers come in. If which is kind of there's also also was kind of I also put this in my quickie review. Check it out. Um, if the show ends as is right now, it can end and it's fine, but they keep put they keep pushing that out there that 
Joe is not a good person. Joe is not the hero of the story, or he should not be. Joe is bad. There hasn't been a hero yet. Okay. What about Nadia? Okay. Not yet. Well, I mean, that's it. She's done. I mean, so. Well, okay. You know what the thing to do. If we can go into predictions right away, season five, Nadia and Marianne get together and they take down Joe. No. 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 Yes. Back to what I was saying. The bad is that he would like one more season to really. Unleash the animal. Let, no, let Joe get it. Okay. Here, here's my thing. I really want to put the label on this half of season four as Cop Out City. I disagree completely. Cop Out City, you know why? Because my biggest beef, if he jumped off the bridge, Cop first of all, that love what didn't that survive? First, he well, if he threw off his id or whatever you want to call it. His, his demon half off the bridge and then he threw himself off and in the water done. In many ways, that's heroic. In many ways, he has atoned for his sins. He knows he cannot live in this civilized world. He is damaged goods and he just caught, he just brings harm to everybody he is. Okay. Yes. That would be fine with me. Okay. But no, for him to wake up and now everything's sitting pretty and now he's a, he's a trillionaire. And he's happy. Now he's all good with it. And you see in the mirror reflections, I know, spoilers galore. Listen, this is the recap. So if you're watching this, you, you're with us. You've, you've watched it all. He sees his his bad guy, buddy double, his, what's his name? Reese. In the mirror, he's now one in the same person. Now he's got resources. He has completely changed once he followed the girl out Slit the throat of the boyfriend, handed her the knife, and basically said to her, there's not a damn thing you could do about it. Yes. Phenomenal. See, you're taking it. See, this is the evolution of the character of Joe. You keep seeing, you keep thinking he's redeemable. He is not redeemable. He's a piece of shit. He's not redeemable. L -l -l Let's not get. He's the eat the rich, rich killer. He's the killer beyond kill. He doesn't even know he's killing until he comes to some self realization That's that a... he created bad Reese. Now he knows. And now this makes him more formidable, a scarier, a more villainous, a more evil. But I didn't like it because it kind of minimizes the last three seasons where he was not fully aware that he's doing all these things. It, but it doesn't. It's just, it's just the evolution of the character. It's the only way it could go. You cannot have a, a, a person who's gone through all these things, who's gone through all these traumas, who's done all these bad things, and have them be sane. It doesn't have... There's no such thing. All right, my... Second biggest beef here. There's no such thing. Hey, and, and Reese actually said in one part, he said, okay, oh, when you hit your head again against the cage, that triggered it. And then he actually mentioned, he was like, oh, maybe now you were kind of going, you were kind of losing it already. And you can look back in the previous season and say that he was probably losing it back then as well. He thought that he, that he, he, thought he had killed Candace. How about I see I, I hear silence in your voice. I don't like the 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 path that Joe's taking here, not as a moral judgment. I don't like the the how this played out, where it's like giving so much now blame to this other personality. There is no other personality. Exactly, agreed. That's so the why point. why conjure up this whole thing in the first place? But it's not conjured up, it is the, the natural progression, the evolution of the character. Okay, he's, he's been so brilliant, he's been so brilliant to almost get away with murder at every turn. 
a few places he screwed up. He left his pee. He, he got screwed up a lot, actually. Love found out about him. Very, and all such stuff. The people around, around them are, are out of their effing minds as well. So how is he so clever and smart that not does he take down a socialite group of killers or, or people who nonchalantly care about human life, how does he take down the billionaire Tom oh, well, Lockwood? See, yeah, what, that, that's something completely different. Now you're talking that was bogus and BS, uh, okay, right? Okay, well, now, now, see, now we have we have two different arguments here. We have two different things. You're talking about one thing about the evolution of the character, how 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 you're talking about Reese being a separate entity and all that good stuff. All that is fine as one thing. Now him and now he's embracing it. Well, yes, Outside, it's like Hulk and Banner. So he's become Professor Hulk. Or Banner has embraced the Hulk. Either way, they now coexist into right. one person. Because now, because now you're saying freaking, I guess you would be something like, like Ruffalo in the beginning when in the Avengers when he goes, I'm always angry. And he, you know, that part, not the Professor Banner, because he's saying that Professor Banner makes it seem like he's more of an analytical type. No, he knows that he's fucked up. He knows that he's fucked in the head. Now, you want to argue how you end up killing a multi-billionaire? Agreed. That's far-fetched. But then Beyond again, far-fetched. But then he takes far -fetched. down his, 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 his super-trained bodyguard? But then again, him jumping off a bridge, again, spoilers abound, falling into the water. First of all, surviving that fall, first off. Okay. And he survived another fall when he got pushed out of out, out of like a two the mansion. story window. But fine. He survives that. And he survived the fall. Didn't drown. Got found by the police. No brain damage. And then he's no bodily eaten. damage. No bodily damage either. I mean, so yeah. But then again, this is what you watch the show for. You don't watch it to freaking to to uh to learn to learn the square root of pie. So let me get this square from you, if I may paraphrase, if you will. Joe actually, when he threw his other self off the bridge and then threw himself off the bridge, the good self that threw himself off actually died. I mean. And the bad self survived and finally buried good Joe because of the words of what's her face um the billionaire's daughter holy cow brain Kate, cramp Kate or Catherine whatever Kate, yeah Kate telling him what Joe's heart of heart always wanted in anything in life through all the crap that he went through from the group homes the 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 abuse of dad everything he just wanted to be loved. Of course, we know that. And so when she professed, I don't care what you ever did, really don't. I want us to look out for each other. And now I will accept you wholeheartedly, bar none. Then he kind of flipped and said, okay, I'm going to tell you the whole truth. It's apparently, you know, it, it's a subtext. He spilled everything out and she still accepted him. Not only that, Marrying me and my trillions of dollars worth of money and influence and whatever. You have every resource in the world. And now the animal is fully stockpiled. Let me look. You're 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 kind of um streamlining it in a way, but yeah, sure. I guess part of you would I wouldn't put it for a magnificent it... ending. I wouldn't put it completely that way, but I mean, in a way, yeah. I was disappointed. I wanted a magnificent ending that is some form of poetic justice. See, but that's the whole point. It's not. And if it were to have, if it does end this way, I am still happy because not that you want Joe to escape and get away with it. But unfortunately, in life, the good guys don't always win. Here's where some plot holes exist. 
There's plot holes all over the place. There's plot holes everywhere in the, in the, in the uh, 40 episodes. There's plot holes. So that's are like, we to it's expect that such a brilliant joke? Who already sniffed out the student knows what he's up to? Who already sniffed he, out? He, you the moron. I mean, he didn't know. He, he, he got he sniffed out. He got but lucky. he sniffed out oh. how love love was using some some herbal poison. He sniffed out everything. He was ahead of the step of everybody, and we're supposed to believe that this student with Mari, in conjunction, figured a way to dupe him out of thinking. Well, she's you know, dead? In, all, in all, actually, watching this episode with my sister, watching the whole series, binging the whole series, actually, that was my biggest, my biggest pet peeve, my biggest issue with the whole season. Especially part two was the fact how Nadia, I think Nadia was the name, she flipped on a dime when she wanted to take care. She was she she liked the professor. He saved her ass by by getting the letter. Then all of a sudden she becomes she becomes Nancy Drew and freaking and you know you know almost brings down arguably the most prolific serial killer in freaking in uh in in in, in on Netflix and then you're a serial killer and I, I, I did have an issue with that I had a massive 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 issue with that but the Marion thing is not settled with me because for somebody who's even if it's his bad half or his good half Someone who cares so much to lock her up and be his and tame her and do whatever his twisted mind is. For her, for him to slip up, leave the pills, she takes the pills, she's ODing, he feels bad for the, the kid abroad, the whole thing. Doesn't vet to check she's really dead, not a faint pulse. And then, all right, I'm not going to try to make this better or nothing. I'm going to leave her on a park bench. She did. We're, we're sure enough, uh, an right. autopsy will reveal that she's... She's drugged up. She did write in the letter to leave her somewhere where they'll find her. So yeah, that 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 that, that explains the park mm -hmm. bench. Now, does it explain him not checking up? Uh, him, you know, it doesn't jive. He's so meticulous. It doesn't jive. All oh, these are plot holes that you know. Okay. Not to mention fingerprints and and well, you tell, okay, you carry a body on a park that bench. In right here is off. You, you don't think somebody's going to see you carry a body in a park bench in London? Oh, oh, yeah, but but you had no issue where in part one he chop he went into a, a like a woodcutter thing and he chopped some dude up while the guy went to go see freaking go go watch a football game and nobody noticed and he managed to clean all that up. No, I With every I, I did it. That's another thing. And you for never, I never get caught. Really, your side, your side, you're making my case. Really, no, but the but the, the show itself is riddled with plot holes. We know that already. The cell phone use here is I mean, like the fact that he freaking hits freaking a peach with a rock from from whatever this is, and, and you know, and oh, and <laughs> there's, there's many freaking plot holes in this in this whole thing. And where does Joe get all of his money to create? And how did he get rid of that that cage, which probably weighed? I see at least a couple tons. All of a sudden, he got rid of it, and he was able to put it in the basement of an abandoned building in London. He get access to the abandoned building, and again, in every street corner in London, just like in New York and any other major city, there's a million thousand fucking cameras. That's the whole point. If you if you're asking all these questions, then you're not a fan of the show, and you need to freaking you need to exit to the left. <laughs> I'm a fan, but. If you and want, I, I don't think so because you, you're bringing up all these questions, which you know, which you knew from the beginning of, of season the first 10 minutes of season one that the show was preposterous, but it was fun. And that's if you're brilliant, around. if you're brilliant, and he's they're using up to the minute technology, right? Social media, I mean, they're, they're hardcore to social media, cameras, angles, witnesses, piecing things together. And but the same thing that's their strength is their weakness. Maybe my biggest beef is I'm looking for a glorious ending to a nasty individual. And I didn't get it. I got empowerment. It's not the ending. So let me let me ask you this follow-up. Kate. Yeah. Not how do you feel way. about her? Well, how do you feel about her character? Is she Man. is she worse than Joe? 
Is she nailing Joe? You think she truly understands the capabilities? No, I don't think she does. Or is she actually worse? And we don't know it yet. Well, she did say she poisoned a bunch of kids and you know killed them off and gave gave gave, gave, gave them all cancer. So that's that's pretty fucked up. You know? Look at the apple falling from the tree. The dad nonchalantly is fixing a jet, and he's like, "Yeah, we had so and so killed." You know, I mean, and, and that's another issue. See, I don't want to keep you know, putting whole uh, introducing holes into the whole things. Like, it's like really, Joe meets another person who's who's batshit crazy, and man, you know, whatever. I mean, we thought love was, and mind you, in the beginning, I was like, "Love, what the fuck?" But I love that crazy bitch. You know, oh, I, I love it too. I, now, part it, of you, part of me, part of me, and I don't know if part of you was disappointed that when the cameos were made with the former lovers and victims, it was fun for what it is. I understand why they did it. They really, really were dead. They're figments of his imagination. I, more precisely, they're figments of his guilt. What I but, would actually, you know, when, when you're done, I'll let you know. But I would have wished. One of them was not. Apparently, the only one so far. Marianne is still alive. And remember her prophetic words. If there's anything that anyone needs an example of foreshadowing. She said, as long as he's alive and knows that I'm alive, he's going to come after me. Because he's an obsessive mofo. Yes. Indeed. And Nadia. For everything that she is, like you said, uh, to today's Nancy Drew, he has empowered her. She, he killed her boyfriend, if you want to call it that, whatever he was. And she was she had feelings for him. She couldn't say all this stuff yet. And he killed her. Okay. Callously, in front of he has built two of the biggest enemies he can have. There's no way in hell that they're not going to have a part to take him down. I said it. That's my prediction. There is no... I'm going to cast that check. First of all, Marianne is useless. She can't do anything. No, that's what... That's what you have been duped, my friend. So and you bought it. Two. Look, line, look line of sinker. To Nadia is in prison. She can't do nothing from... And, you know, now... I'm going to give you someone who is going to probably end up ending Joe, which I'm surprised. I'm I'm shocked you haven't even thought about her. You know, because she was too busy doing another Netflix show, so she couldn't be in this season. So, who got sent away by Joe, and also, and Joe gave her some gave him gave her some hush money. Jenny Ortega. Exactly. Right now, it, now you could you could say whatever. She's older. She probably you know she can. She's not a kid anymore. We 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 can even put into the future whatever. And maybe Joe gets obsessed with her because hey, she's a, she's grown up. She's grown up now. So, or or maybe she finds out she's like this too too crazy. Killed my sister. This and that and the other thing, you know. Maybe she finds out. About about the death of her sister, that Joe was involved in that, you know. He she will find out because his brass balls are so blinded now by this new energetic life and billions. He came out on a news program, a and global thing, news. Before I forget, um, that the showrunner Sarah Sarah Gimble, I think Gimble, mentioned was that there will be people from Joe's past. That will come back to haunt him. They did mention that for if they if they get the drugs and do season five, which I don't know why they wouldn't. You know, thing is, when are we going to see it? Probably in three years. But that's besides that's besides the point. It's like Ted Bundy coming out after being exonerated in an alternate universe, coming out and saying, "Yeah, I'm Ted Bundy. I wrote this book. Uh, I've been scarred. I'm post traumatic." And and having all these women in America go, oh, you dated my girl. I saw you in this campus. You did this. It's, it's, it's like open season. Open season. I well, then I would title it that. Oh, season five, open season on Joe. 
And, and I have the books, which I mean, now I, I'm have to I, I, I'm gonna have to reread the whole the whole thing again. I'll get some audio books. I have I have too much of the show, and they kind of cross pollinate. At the court of all right. Well, uh, that being said, not, not that I'm totally over. All right, I'm one over. Give us, give us your give, oh great wise one. Give us your rating, and then we'll move on to the Last of Us. Go ahead. For all my issues, especially with the ending, it soured my higher grade. I have to bring it down to a seven point eight out of ten. Okay, now is it that this this part season part two or the whole season in general? The total body work of season four. All right, I had given up. I think I had given part one an eight or just a shade under an eight, and I gave this one an 8.1. So, hey, I mean, we're rounded out like an eight for the season. I think part one was decent, but not great. And it could have been, but I, and I'm going to leave it at this. I do love the fact that the crazy, the crazy, the, 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 the I think it could work. The Reese, you know, the the the, the crazy uh the alter ego, whatever you want to call but it. What I would have done, which I don't think they're gonna do it. I mean, they might do it like a flashback, so a little you know guilt thing. I would have had love be his, you know, crazy. Love to me was the perfect parent. Yeah, I, I would have had love be the be instead of Reese, be the you know. I up. don't see she doesn't fit the bill. No, no, they're not gonna do it. Kate, but I'm, no, but Kate, her her character does not feel fit the Joe, you know, criteria. He always was looking to be the heroic guy. But of course, you know what's gonna happen. He's gonna freaking. But she doesn't need him. He's gonna he's gonna stalk someone else. He's gonna obsess over someone else. It's 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 it, it, this shit writes itself. All right, moving on. The Last of Us. Season finale, series finale, game finale. You know, non spoilers. Go. I loved it. I loved how it ended. Again, without the spoilers, I know they deviated a little bit. And there's a lot of flack that they're taking because I don't know what flack they're taking. To be honest, I love how they stuck to the spirit of the game. And they built everything up, tailor made. The pins are there, ready to go, segueing seamlessly into Last of Us Two storylines of the video game. Whether you're a fan of the storylines or not, it's ready. Do and you they did know it what happened way. in in season, in season in part two? Huh? You know what happens in part two? Yes, and it's built up to be seamless. It's going to be exact. Unless they make some grave changes, it's See, ready. They're really gonna go that way and do and do that. From everything I'm hearing, yes. And I know you have issues with the gameplay storyline and the gameplay of part two Look, of, I, of the next game. No, in all seriousness, to everyone else, um, I am currently playing part two. I had never, I had never played part two before, and. Obviously, we all know what scene we're talking about, and it had an issue with it because it was, you know, not only gut wrenching, but also changes the whole complexion of the game. It turns the game from again, I don't know what happens, so, but it turns the game from a like a post apocalyptic kind of, you know, search for this, search for that, into a whole revenge type thing again and i'm only in the beginning so before I uh, the only thing i could say is without spoiling too much is they have laid the foundation for ellie to be if the truth ever was found out about how things played out they've laid the foundations for a lot of regret and tarnished beloved uh, placement that she has right now for Joel. The thing Everyone is who knows how game two, how game one ended, this is right there. 
Yeah. Well, it's going to play out just like it. There's some beautiful scenes in there, some captivating moments. And all I could tell you is you saw a glimpse of the last episode where, how do I like to call it? Uh, Commando Joel comes out. Survival mode, old style. I don't care who you are. I will kill babies. He's he's even more on fire in this one. With, I don't care. This might be the biggest spoiler of all. I don't care if I have the potential to save the world. I'm saving her. There is not even a second to to mull it over. So you, you it, heard what we said. No spoilers. That just that that we 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 passed that exit about fifteen exits ago. So, but carry on. All right. Well, I'm not. not no, but in but um, that's the gameplay. That's the game. It's the same. So they haven't changed. They did say on the no on certain circumstances they're going to recast the role of Ellie. Bella Ramsey is going to play the older, appropriate older, which she is older. She's actually twenty twenty years old. Yeah. So, and. The uh, the game I do believe goes five or six years, so which would put her appropriately at the age. Maybe they age her up a bit. They don't even have to. She plays. I mean, I guess they would have to just have no, her. No, because she looks home. younger. She does look younger. They'll have to age her up a little bit. Not to that. To mention, if you want to follow some gameplay, she's going to have to be a little buffed. Well, I mean, yeah. But we're not going to see it until like at least five years from now. So, I mean, now, well, Pascal said that if there is, um, he has a window. But if everyone is 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 also on board, but I, I don't see it happening unless HBO pushes it. There's a window of the end of 2023 to start filming. But we don't know. I, matter of fact, I do believe we started filming this shit in, what, 2021? Only to, for it to come out now. Obviously, you had COVID, everything else. Now that uh, you know, Mandalorian. Funny. Yeah, but Mandalorian was filmed in, way back when, you know, and then in, in uh, BC before COVID, you know. So actually, no, not really, but it was in, in the Carter years. Yeah, it, it 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 was filmed a while back. So, but uh, and who knows what other, what other character he's gonna start playing that he has to, you know. Well, gonna... again. Hey, no wait, spoiler. Going to the MCU, so you know there you go. Maybe, maybe spoiler alert, but if you do follow the gameplay of game two, he, he's not gonna be in every episode. Sorry, <laughs> damn, damn. Did Rock I just say live, that? Rock is not living right for all you people. You heard it here first. Be sad. Be very sad. Okay, about twenty minutes into the game. But um, moving on. <laughs> no surprise. Right. The, the, the Oscars, twenty twenty three. Now, all right, let's get to the shit show. The, the, and to the, 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 the Brotherhood put, Fest. Let me, just, Fest but, let me just get into uh, uh, get on my high horse for a little bit, and talk about award shows. Okay, award shows in themselves are cringy as hell. Okay, and now for some reason, as I've gotten older and everyone else. They make it all seem a heck of a lot worse than they ever were, you know. And it's like everybody is completely patting themselves on the back and on the behind, and you know, you know, <sighs> it's like a closed fraternity, yes, only recently being opened up to non old boys, yes, and. Sometimes, yeah, I'm going to say it. Sometimes that's to a detriment because do you want best individual, best show, best movie, best whatever to win? Or are you going to just reach out because you're checking off some criteria boxes, whichever you want to call it? It's the thing, man. Somehow it seems that they can't get it right. Okay, it's it almost seems like the course correcting way, way too much. I get it. I get it. It's been an old boys club for a long, long time. 
But even with that said, we can move on with a lot of glaring holes that you and I both saw. Let's get to the biggest one of them all. Everything, everywhere, all at once. Got what? They're almost in every category. Well, they were eleven. They were in eleven. I think they won seven of eleven, which is which is the most since Slumdog Millionaire, which won either they won eight or eight out of eleven, or they won seven out of eleven. Whatever. I mean, but the, the only one. Close- but if you look at all the other categories, it's almost nine seventy percent, almost the same movies. But that's normally how it is, though. It's, it's yeah, not- but again, but I, okay, so it's not at all possible, right, to have great. Cinematography, cinematography, long shots, beautiful scenery, and not be a really good movie, but you should reward it. the cinematography as opposed to well, you know what that movie did really well, and it's it always happened, and that was always the the categories for the block. Then, then it's still it was always it's like that. Shame. Hey, what one best uh, best visual effects? That piece of shit that you loved, fucking uh, Avatar. Then, then it's still sham. The whole thing's still sham. Okay. So but, I but it gave you the point that you were asking for. It's a sham. Everything, everywhere. Cinematography. I do believe it was uh, uh, on the Western Front, which you loved. Uh, I, I really liked a lot. And I understand for cinematography. But for some other things they won, I don't agree. It won like international best movie, right? Yes. Holy Jesus Christ. If there wasn't like a criminal coming in the middle of the night with no mask on, here you go. I'm sorry. Broad daylight. Let's say it. Three letters. Let's say it together. Come on. R. 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 Where the hell was that? Well, it won it won best song. And that, you know, that was like a <laughs> bone. That, that was that that was the biggest bone they gave. The, that was a giant brontosaurus sized bone they threw at the at the but again, know. that's making our point. We saw RR. We saw it, I guess, August. I knew. It would never have won, bro. It would never. I would have liked to have it been nominated, but even okay, we well, get the there, fact, best picture. It should have been nominated at least for best international feature. Exactly. It should have been nominated for best visual for the very least. Effect. Now, freaking, but I mean, there was there was other things that they, they you know, but forget besides the point. Besides the point. No, no. Well, let, let me. How do, you, thing ever how do I was, say this? Once, it was a great movie. Or a very good movie, and I don't know, I don't trash it. But and I love Jamie Lee Curtis, the number you know, you know, the scream queen of all scream queens. But was she really the best supporting actress? Absolutely not. Was she better than that co- co-star? No. She was a very good piece in the movie, but she was not even supporting actress. Okay. Let, so, let's take the actress out of the way. She was not like a huge, um, a huge role. The daughter in the movie actually bit a better role. Yeah. And then if I can go beyond this movie, everyone out there, shameless plug. I did a quickie on, well, not even a quickie, a nice Pod t- uh, podcast and YouTube episode on the whale being snubbed for whatever political reasons you want to call it. The actress who is his nurse in the movie, in addition to Sadie Sink's role as the daughter, both of them should have been nominated. One of them should have won. Their role was more impactful than Jamie Lee Curtis's role. I'm so sorry. And again, I love her. She's on my my pedestal of Mount Rushmore of Screen Queens and everything else that she does, but not for this movie. Stevia. And I remind you, and, and her moment was actually great. Her moment was great. Her speech was great. Actually, probably one of the, I would say maybe a top five moment of the Oscars. It was awesome. You know, which also I, I have to admit also thinking uh uh geez, I'm gonna mangle his name. Uh K K's uh his moment was also awesome as well when he won. Okay. He, again, no. So he, I actually can see winning and I don't have an issue. With it's him. freaking hilarious. I mean, it's, I mean, I know, obviously, he's, he's older. He's, he's older, but it's still, it's still data talking or short round or whatever. It's just, you know, it just, it just still throws me off. Sorry. Okay. Um, you and I both saw the movie Menu, the menu. 
which wasn't nominated. It's a horror movie. We'll never be nominated. But the chef, I'm sorry, is ex- I lost his name, but the chef, the main oh, actor. Fine, fine. Yeah, that was a fantastic, fantastic role he played. Look. That, to me, is worthy of a nomination. And I had mixed, mixed emotion about this movie, The Banshees of Inisherin, or Inisherin, and I thought that uh, they... Uh, uh, Didn't that, we have to go in there and wake you up? Gleason, he was f- fucking great, and the fact that he had to, he had to be put as supporting because Connor Farrell was technically they put they built him as as uh, best actor. I guess they didn't want them to uh, to collide to not basically none nullify each other, you know? Because everybody thought, hey, first of all, everybody thought Austin Butler was going to win for Elvis. Okay, shoe win. Yes. The fact that Brendan Fraser won was a uh, was somewhat of a you know surprise, but good for him. And his moment was awesome as well. Okay. But can, but can, let's pause right there. Go ahead. So, logically speaking, they thought so highly of his performance in that role to give him not just a nominee, but to win it. And then doesn't it speak that not even to be nominated doesn't make any sense. Such a fantastic role played. What are we talking about? The whale. Oh, well, the he movie- played such a such a strong role, right? For a movie that sucks. No, it shouldn't. And again, I make my case that it should be nominated. I think it should be at very least consideration for winning the whole thing. But I can. I can stomach not winning it, but for a performance like that, that merits best actor, you would think is in a movie that merits a consideration for nomination. Yes. It makes, it's like saying, oh, Michael Jordan scored 16, uh, 69 points in this playoff game, but I mean, the Bulls at the time suck. Necessarily, but sometimes, but not necessarily. I'll give you a perfect example. And, and look, this is not, but growing up as a kid, whatever, and no one's ever going to consider this a, a, a Oscar, uh, an Oscar nominated freaking, you know, movie or whatever. Remember La Bamba? Yes. Okay. Remember his, his brother, uh, uh, um, his brother, yeah. yes. Samurai. So it was one of the most famous performances I've seen. You know. Yes, he should have been supporting actor. Exactly. And he wasn't even nominated. Exactly. It was, it was never going to be nominated. But I thought it was great, great, great. To this day, yeah, and I tear up all the time. Yes. Yeah. When he cringes up with his Woody Woodpecker um, art, when he cries, when he gets all emotional, when he sees the mom, even before that, when he's a drunk, his motions, his mood swings, you can make an argument that he was almost the central figure. You're watching the whole movie play out through his eyes. Yeah, pretty much. And he how... A new character. He carried the movie more than actual Lou Diamond Phillips. No offense. It's a huge, huge movie. Okay, let me give another example. Man, this is a more tough, dicey one. Um, Hannibal. Hannibal. The... Oh. Yeah. Where do you put Jodie Foster in that? Is she the main actress or is Hannibal the main actress? I'm talking about Hannibal. Yes, Hannibal. Okay, you're talking about the movie Hannibal or you're talking about Silence no. of the Lambs? What? You're talking about Silence of the Lambs? Oh, I'm sorry, about- Silence of the Lambs, Silence of the Lambs. Not, not the Buffalo Bill, I mean, just Silence, Silence of the Lambs. So, it's Jody, right? She's the main actress, yes. Yeah. So, by default, <laughs> everyone remembers him. I know the character is, is drawn that way, but his performance is is, is resonates. It's yeah. memorable. It's yeah. permanent. It's 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 pop culture. Shouldn't he get consideration? Did he get consideration? Will I'm he? not sure. I gotta go back in time. But if anything, this is what we're defining, right? As for me at least, a sure supporting him. actor actress, whichever, the supporting role to me, it doesn't eclipse. The main role, but the main role is not the main role unless you have that supporting performance. Right. And it, I, I, I don't see it. I don't see it. I don't, like you can, I hate to say this. 
not anybody, but you can insert another actress into her role in that movie. And it doesn't take away from the main thrust of the movie. Sorry. That was that was a gimme. That was like a payback. That wasn't that wasn't the best performance. Sorry. 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 And again, everybody knows my opinion about the actual best picture nominations. And a, a couple of them I wouldn't consider. Yes, you know how I feel. I love war movies. I did appreciate and I very, very much like All Quiet on the Western Front. There were moments that I have to be honest. It was a little boring. There are moments it was predictable, but obviously everybody knows how it plays out. Is it riveting? Is it gut-wrenching? Is it visceral? It was a well-done movie. And it should deserve nomination, but I don't know if it deserves a lot of the awards it took. And somehow, I believe there's a few other movies out there that got snubbed. Well, yeah got snubbed and again rrr matter of fact see uh your whole point has been <laughs> we both i apologize uh judy foster won best actress andy hopkins won best actor and it won best picture but but <laughs> he should be best actor of all time that won the big five but he wasn't the best actor though he was supporting yes. no. this is what i'm saying they got it wrong but because... he was the best male was the best male lead that's the problem. See, the issue arises when you have two male leads or female leads for that matter, and one has to be put down as supporting, like the Banshees of Anishar, of Anisharan is a perfect example. I mean, for obvious reasons, um, <laughs> emancipation wasn't even going to get a thought in this thing. Well, and I, mean, I feel bad because it's not really just his vehicle. And I know everybody knows what happened in the whole deal. But, and I'm not saying it was the greatest movie ever. But he had a damn good performance. Just because you banned the guy from membership doesn't mean you can't acknowledge the fact that his performance in Emancipation was damn good. Hey, just take that L, Will. Just take that L, put it in your pocket, and then, you know, come... Well, come. I'm standing up for him. I know Chris Rock is back, on his back strong next time. All right, so, uh, so yes, yeah, you're nay on the Oscars. Nay, I have so many issues. Uh, it, it, it awards are handed out for by and large, not by merit. Sorry, let me know. Sorry, for the most part, it was uh, nay, as I mentioned. I do, I am happy for for for, for Key, okay, and Brendan Fraser. I mean, they look like genuinely good dudes. And even for Jamie Lee and Michelle Yeoh and everything, you know, they they seem you know like legitimately better of the bunch. And uh, the whole Harrison Ford moment with with uh, with Key with Key was pretty cool as well, you know. But uh, I mean, besides that, you know, not much else. So, I mean, uh, I'll be honest. Uh, it's on my list. I haven't gotten to it, but I am going to watch Tar and um, Triangle of Sadness. But I hear great things about the performances in theirs, too. So, you know, I mean, how about the best musical score? Was it Lady Gaga's thing? Uh, the, the... I mean... But the big thing was was that there was a Lady Gaga actually she she was sans makeup, so you know. the music was great, the song was great, the moment it was played was great. I don't think it was song of the year for a motion picture. They again they threw them a bone. They threw them bones. I mean a lot of these movies. So are then let's change it to Bone Fest. It's always been Bone Fest. So that is a nay. A big capital N and one. Well, for all anyone listening out there, please tune in to the Dead or Dudes annual, well, first ever Bone Town uh, Awards. Awards where we hand out awards, Sands the Whale, uh, for the movies we thought were the best movies of 2022. I think you would find it more enjoyable and uh, amenable than these Oscars. Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio as best animated feature film. 
Okay, good. So you saw it and you agree? No, didn't see it. But, I mean, you know, I'm okay with it. Yeah. I mean, it's 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 phenomenal for Guillermo del Toro to get something because usually he's in the category where we're just in the horror awards in our own little... Uh, yeah. He gets nominated, he just doesn't win, you know. Uh, so know. is this another bone? It's not a bone. It's more of like a a a a career bone, you know. More more of like you know. We know we know you're great, but you're not you you're not really the, that commercial for us. But we know you're great, so we, you know. Here you go. Was this the gold plat the gold ah, gold plated Rolex with four X's? This is yes. This is the the, the gold plated Rolex. So. Well, anyway, it. it it wasn't the spectacle that it was in past. There, you know, there was no slapping. That we knew that was going to happen. I mean, so no slapping, no. Uh... We we have Jimmy Kimmel hosting it. I'll leave that for other people to. Um, big freaking to judge. Whoop, big whoop. And hey, man, uh, Cringe City. I mean, you know, it, we went we we're, we're from 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 Bowen Town to Cringe City. So. Well, either way, it's done. We don't agree. We have some better options out there. Please tune into our awards. And uh, thank you to like uh, for your likes or comments. Please let us know. You agree, disagree. You think I'm crazy full of shit. Go, go for it. And I welcome it. No, no, uh, no, crazy and, you know, but uh, please let us know what you guys think about the last, uh, the last episode of uh, The Last of Us, as well as what you guys thought of you. And of course, those damn Oscars. All right. As usual, I'm Izzy. I'm Raka. Thank you all. And remember to always, always save the whales, or in this case, the whale. I'm going to be hearing this all year. Good night. Good night.